Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. We have some big breaking news I want to get out to you all in a timely fashion. A couple big stories really. Uh, all I ever ask is if you do want to talk about Ripple and XRP, guys, you know what to do. Drop an X, smash the like button, and share the video. Let others around the world know what is truly happening in this digital revolution as I want to show you something kind of comical but very serious as well at the end of this video. But first off, I want to start with this. In a Senate committee hearing here today on appropriations taking place, CFTC, the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, right? A chairman, Rostin Bonham, has said that 70 to 80% of all cryptocurrencies are non-securities. Now, he's been quite friendly to the cryptocurrency industry, especially opposed in contrast to uh, Gary Gensler, who is essentially at the beginning was saying everything's a security pretty much and then you know obviously he's been getting smacked around the court system but indeed Rostin has talked about this asset class for a while and the on uh, ongoing debate here about the classification status and so he's called Bitcoin Ethereum are for sure commodities in his book and the rest of the market as a whole 70 to 80 percent so I can only imagine a lot of the top blue chip cryptocurrencies like XRP. Well, XRP isn't debatable. We know it is, in fact, not a security. But a lot of those blue chip cryptocurrencies he will deem as non securities. Now, also, guys, if you are going to want to buy a security and in relation to XRP, you'll have to do it through an ETF as we recall this. XRP ETF when? I think we're going to see it, uh, I think it'll probably be 2025. Next year? Yeah, All right. not too far away. CEO Brad Garlinghouse talking just a couple months ago about the ETF that is coming for XRP in the future. Uh, I will say that this was said a while ago, and I do believe with everything going on right now, especially with this being an election year, with everything going on as far as classifications, regulations, and so forth, with everything speeding up, I believe that XRP ETF is coming much sooner than we had initially thought, and even Brad himself. Now, CTO of Ripple, David Schwartz, recently confirmed that XRP cannot be dirt cheap, right? We must hodl our XRP if we want to see those life-changing gains. He talked about recently how this isn't a deviation of anything he said in the past. And so a lot of people will get words twisted and so forth. But what has happened here today, the second story I want to share with you, uh, and then something I want to show you at the end here. X, right, formerly known as Twitter, has obtained money transmitter licenses for payment services, and check this out, 31 states here in the United States, right? So well over half the states here in the United States now have money transfer licenses. Now where this gets interesting is remember Elon Musk, who does run the show for X, is very closely tied to Jed McCaleb. In fact, they have business dealings. What is happening behind the scenes, right? Jed McCaleb, who of course helped create uh, XRP and XLM, what is happening behind the, behind the scenes? will be very interesting to watch in time. Now, lastly, guys, I want to put this out. The SEC is going to lose in $10 will happen in a blink of an eye for XRP. Who is bullish on XRP? As we see Mr. Gary Gensler in a headlock by the, by the well-known John Deaton himself, pro XRP Army. Guys, I appreciate all your support. Keep on those notification bells. We'll get you out more information later on here today, and we'll see you all in the next one.